This is Matrix Lord 212. Hello, everybody. All right, so I got every absolute carnage that's out so far and tie in reviewed today. Um, actually, the funny thing this morning was I got really sick after probably about an hour after I made that video, uh, Matrix vlog, and I wound up just staying home today and I was out sick. Uh, and I slept all day and it was just, you know, sometimes your body gets worn out, you know? So, um, had the reviews put up and I have a lot of X-Men, House of X and Powers of X to review still. I'm gonna hold off on those for now because I think I overloaded you guys with comic book reviews. And again, to me, I, I'm well aware that comic book reviews is the least viewed stuff on my channel, but it's not about views to me. It's about me creating a guide for myself and a playlist for myself about the comic books that I love and don't love, like surprisingly. Um, and this is also a guide for me to decide in the future what I'm gonna collect and what I'm not gonna collect. Um, I have my books that I get from Marvel that I regularly collect. And then sometimes I put aside some money to get like stuff I'm gonna try out. And then what usually happens is I stick with the stuff that I try out, but then sometimes in the rare instances, I just cancel certain ones because I don't like it. Um, so now that I got that out of my system, I'm gonna hold off on the X-Men stuff. More than likely, I'm predicting, and this is just a prediction, I don't know if it's gonna be true or not, but I think I'm not gonna be collecting X-Men going forward now unless the books are like out of the park amazing you know it could change my mind once i read them and review them i think i'm just gonna stick to what i'm getting and i'm gonna expand upon the spider-man titles um you know i got black cat two i still have to review i didn't get three i'm probably gonna get three i'm t pondering getting I know Doctor Strange was canceled and then a new series start. Now, it wasn't really canceled, I think, because it wasn't doing well. I think it's because I want to have a new number one. So I'm toying with the idea of going backtrack and getting all those Doctor Strange and reviewing them. Not sure if I'm going to do that, okay? Um, there is a, some other things I want to look at. I want to, I want to read Loki. I want to maybe get Valkyrie number one, maybe get... King Thor toying with that. Again, everything is money, and lately Marvel Comics, every time they put a new book out, it's $5, $6, $7, $8, $9, $10. This week, there's a Spider-Man book that's $10 friggin dollars. And <laughs> here's the thing. It's, you know, I'm paying all my bills now, and with an added expense of my 13th book. For me to spend more than that on something else, this is going to be the ultimate test in these next two months. How the hell am I going to do this? Because again, you know, I am making sure that book thing is happening. So everything is in its proper place, but anything extra? Yeah. When I thought I was going to lose my laptop, I almost had a heart attack because I'm like, I was not planning on buying a laptop after that. And there's definitely not money for that. But so that's why I stood up till like three o'clock in the morning to fix it, um, and I was tired. So uh, thank God the laptop is fixed. We still do podcasts tonight. If anybody's around, it is Friday night. Um, but as far as any added expense, expense, experimental reading, um, I think that's going to stop, and I think the comics are going to slow down now because again, I have to, you know, transfer all my available extras towards this book project that I'm doing, okay? I'm on board with it. So, um, still a little worn out, still a little tired. My eyes, my eyes are still, you know, glassy and stuff like that. Hopefully, I'll be okay tomorrow, 100%. Um, so yeah, the comic book things are gonna stop uh, or slow down, and I'll probably review X-Men next week. Now, as far as the gaming goes, I said next week I'm probably gonna upload some videos of gaming. I am going to probably go after the another Platinum Trophy tomorrow, okay? 
I'm not going to put any videos up on it of me playing the game, but I'm going to be talking about it afterwards. In the future, I do plan on getting a gaming chair, a PlayStation camera, and a microphone for that, uh, as well as eventually when the book is done and I, I'll probably get a gaming computer or I'll probably get a software or something. I mean, I do want to have a, ca uh, a new camera for my for a new laptop possibly and a new microphone all this stuff is down the road um again everything costs money so it's let me get through the book first and also a funny thing happened um that i didn't get to talk to you guys about i i handed in the book and i felt completely new like like this whole weight was lifted from my shoulders and i felt great and i felt different and i felt confident that Despite the fact that it's gonna it's gonna cost me, I felt great that I took a risk, and I I didn't like you know I just threw myself out there, and I felt more confident in myself that I'm doing this. I felt happy that, you know, you work you work you work, and a lot of times you know from paycheck to paycheck, and the money just go to bills, and it's not it's not like you could buy anything that shows accomplishment, and this thing showed accomplishment me doing the book thing really made me feel good. At the same time, I felt empty because it's gone. The manuscript's going to be made. And what am I working on now? Because this book I've been working on, along well, with a few others, for a while now. So what I think I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start working on another book. Um, well, maybe not. See, that's the thing. I, I want to go back and forth with the publisher and check the editing and things, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know if I'm really going to come into a new book now, but let's get this out. If I can get this out fast, then I'll be happy. Um, but I'm not going to rush it. So the cover has to be perfect. Um, I'm hoping by December it's out. Uh, I don't think it's going to be past December. So we'll see. So I'm glad that I'll have a book out in 2019. Um, as far as the next projects of the books go, I, I kind of want to just leave it alone right now and just work with them, get this done, not do anything else in the background of book-wise. I want to focus on my YouTube channel um, and getting nice content out there, and, and I'm not going to be writing now because, again, I'm submitting a book, so I want to turn my attention on when I'm not working with the publisher on my YouTube stuff, and I think that's what I'm going to do for now. So. That's just a rundown of this um, late Matrix Log report. Um, hopefully I get to see you guys later on podcast. Take care. Bye for now.